it's the MLM for the Soul Channel, and I do have a new topic for today. But before I begin, I would just like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people who I always thank in these videos, and I will continue to thank for inspiring me, and I will have links to their sites below this video. They are Rabbi Shalom Arash, Rabbi Lazer Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansour, Rabbi Alona Nava, Rabbi Daniel Asur, Rabbi Yuval Obadia, Nisim Baruch Black, David Sachs, and Jews for Judaism, Rabbi Michael Skobak. And again, if you've never watched any of these videos or checked out the site before, then do check out my first video because on there I explain what exactly MLM for the Soul is all about. So the topic for today is called uh, No Closed Doors and Setting an Example for Others. So it's two kind of mini topics. Again, taken from this wonderful Sefer, I seem to find really great uh, topics every week from Lil Modal Alamed, and this is on Parshas Vayikra. And Vayikra is the Parsha that talks about the Karbonos, the uh, sacrifices, but uh, just explaining a little bit what are karbonos and what they mean. Actually, um, the root of karbonos is karov, which means near. So what does a karbon do? What does a sacrifice do? It actually is a means of approaching Hashem and asking forgiveness or asking, uh, showing appreciation or asking for assistance from Hashem. So it brings you closer to Him. So it's not about sacrificing yourself. It's more about getting closer to Hashem. Um, and today, unfortunately, we do not have the Beis HaMikdash. Um, so the only way that we could express our gratitude, our thanks, um, is through prayer. And, and the prayer acknowledges that Hashem is the master over all the world. And we ask Hashem for assistance. So the fact that we pray to Hashem, we do so with the knowledge that Hashem is everywhere and that he will hear our prayers no matter where we may be. So that's our direct line of communication with Hashem. And, uh, and you know, this is not anything new. We've always talked to Hashem from, from the beginning of time, and uh, it hasn't changed. But we have to remember, because Hashem is everywhere, we have to really be careful and not think we could do a sin and Hashem won't know. So hence, you know, there's no closed doors, meaning Hashem sees everything, Hashem hears everything. You cannot hide from Him. So please keep that in mind. So there was an interesting little story that was told um, about a man who uh, was transporting a, a Torah sage, and when it got dark, this driver of the carriage decided that he would go into uh, somebody's field, and he, and, and he told this Torah sage, you know, let me know if anybody um, is, gonna, is watching. So he went in, and he was trying to get some fruit. And um, just then, this sage says, come quickly, quickly, someone's watching. And the driver, of course, dropped everything that he got and came back to the carriage, and he thanked the sage for telling him you know, and the owner was, um, and then he said to him, oh, the owner of the field wasn't watching, but someone else was, and he pointed upward, and he said, if you had kept the fruits, you certainly would have been in big trouble because of him, Hashem. So, it, you know, in this world, we can get away with things, but in Olam HaMS, which is Olam Haba, the truth, the world of the truth, we cannot uh, do anything to um, change what we've done here. So now we have to change what we've done here and realize that if we don't, then there's consequences and uh, you, you can't hide from anything. So best, um, it's just interesting, like I've learned this a lot, when people think of fear, you know, yiras Hashem, fear of Hashem, it's not really fear of Hashem that we should be like shaking. In that sense, it should be fear lest we come to sin against Hashem and go against His will, and therefore there are consequences. So we should be so fearful that we wouldn't even imagine going against Him. That's really what it is. Um, so that that's something to know. Now, um, the next thing we're going to talk about 
is uh, the second part. So the second part is about being uh, setting, being an example for others. So in the first pasuk of this parsha Vayikra, um, the aleph is written smaller than the other letters. And why is this so? Um, Vayikra means call. Vayikra Hashem Moshe. It says like Hashem called to Moshe. It sounds like that isn't proper. Um, Vayikra El Moshe doesn't sound proper. So Moshe, who wrote the Torah, Hashem gave it to him, he felt that in his modesty it wouldn't be appropriate for Hashem to be calling on a mere mortal. So what did he do is he still kept a letter because you can't change any letter from the Torah. Every letter is divine. But he made it small. So it appears to be vayakar, meaning he met, meaning that Hashem met Moshe by the way, like by accident. Um, so, you know, they like say Moshe was anav mikol adam. He was the most modest and the most humble of anybody. But um, he actually got to be with Hashem, panim el panim, quote-unquote, face-to-face. Of course, Hashem has no face, but he was the only one that really got to speak to him directly. All the other prophets, they uh, usually were fell asleep in a dream. Hashem would come to them. They never were awake for any communication. So um, you think that he should be able to, like, be proud of this, but instead he, his philosophy was the opposite. The greater he became the more modest he became. Um, he viewed, since Hashem, he's been granted such a deep understanding of Hashem's teachings, um, he, he learned, you know, that he needed to set an example for others, hence the second part of the title. So that's what we need to do the same thing, be an example for others. Um, he, he, the more, and because the same thing applies when they're, the greater you are, the more, the tiniest, minutest, sin or discretion that you go against the will of Hashem is is looked upon much greater because you are greater. So each little thing is more prominent. So um, so, the, so the same thing we could say, how much more so we downplay any kind of greatness we think we have because we really don't. Um, if Moshe Rabbeinu was such a great person and he was so modest and not boastful, who are we? We're, you know, nothing. We're like a speck on the earth compared to Moshe. Um, so that's something to be aware of. And that that is a, is a very good trait for us to emulate. That we have to realize that, you know, it's very important that we do the same. I mean, you know, people... You know, they say, oh, you're great at this. Oh, you're so great. You're so talented. But then we have to come back and say, well, that is from Hashem. That's Hashem's credit. we got to understand that since we are part of Him, our soul comes from His essence. So He gives us something special. So that's something special to equate to something, hopefully, that we use for our, our uh, ruchnias, for our spirituality, to uplift to make things holier. Hopefully we use that for that purpose. So the fact is that that is what we're given. Each person has has different abilities and the idea is to use it to make uh, this world that, that, we're, that we're living in into a more sanctified, holy place for Hashem's presence. That's what's important. So you got to look, you know, it's, it's interesting that people go through different... Um, uh, jobs or different, uh, you know, they have professions throughout their life. It's interesting, most people don't stay doing the same thing their whole life. But I know for me, you know, things have shifted, but I'm going more to the side of what's important, which is, you know, the, the spiritual. And I'm using the abilities that Baruch Hashem, Hashem has given me and using them to help other people get inspired, and, and at the same time, I'm inspiring myself. So everything I say is also for my own best interest, not just for everyone else who's watching these videos. So that's important to know that I'm benefiting as well. I learn as much as I'm trying to pass it over to other, or pass it to other people. 
So I want to just say in closing that I hope and pray that we can all be emulating of the traits and midos of Hashem ultimately, because that's what it is, and, and that we follow in His ways and we uh, do not stray and do not try to think we can hide from Him and do everything in our power to do all only good, only the MS, and that we will merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days and the rebuilding of our final and everlasting base. Amen. And thank you for watching.